Alexios, it's you! Phoebe! You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back, but I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am! How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things. Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry, you've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, Euripides. <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. 
Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one too. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight or end one. Thank you, Herodotos. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? 
Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Alexios! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Why send Meteochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erovados was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... related to one of the cult members. 
And I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I'm not done with these people yet. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There is a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened. Okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios! They're finally going to stay on the track. not be the first time of all time, but I'm optimistic. All right. You, you don't actually need it, do you? Huh. 